Hey guys, Chris here. Just doing another quick video. Um, I've had some viewers comment about my lighting schedule for my canaries and, you know, have asked me to kind of talk a little bit about, you know, what, what lighting schedule do I have my canaries on and, you know, and to be honest, you know, canaries, they are dependent on lighting and um, if you want them to breed successfully, the lighting hours and temperature need to be correct. And so, you know, typically from 12 to 14 hours is the optimal time to be um, breeding canaries or when they want to breed, you know, that should be then. Um, and, you know, any if you go above 14 hours, um, usually it sends them into a molt. If you go below, below 12 hours, um, they can go into a dormant stage or it also sends them into a molt. So you gotta be careful. And, and you also need to be careful that you gradually increase or decrease your lighting. Um, whether that is you're doing it artificially or you are just going by the sun and nature is dictating your lighting schedule. And so, um, you know, here in my canaries, canary room, you know, I, I, I do have them under artificial lighting here in the winter just because I, I house them indoors for the winter because it's really cold here and it's easier for me to breed in the winter because i can control the temperature with my heater whereas in the summertime it gets really really hot and it's a little bit harder to control the temperature you know it's harder to make it colder than it is to make it warmer in in my setup and so uh winter time is when i breed my canaries and typically december to march is the time that i breed them and so you know right now we're, we're um almost a couple weeks into january and my birds are almost at 14 hours they're just under 14 hours and most of them are nesting or have eggs or have chicks in the nest and so i'll keep them at 14 hours until march and then i will slowly decrease their time um you know and this is where for my setup it gets a little tricky you know i decrease their light temperature a little bit but then for the summertime, I house them outside in my my outdoor flight so they can get exercise. So they go off the natural sunlight, which our summers are long, you know, they're 15 plus um, hours of, of light. And so that usually sends them into the molt. So they'll molt for me in the summertime. And then once fall comes, that's when I slowly bring them indoors and I lower their lighting even more. Um, I don't go below 10 hours that you know, that's just a preference of mine. There are breeders that go to nine hours um, But I just I don't go lower than 10 hours and that's mainly because I have other birds breeding indoors as well And so I don't want them to be um, Too low on hours to where they can't feed their young and they don't raise them properly and so um, When they're at that 10 hour mark, you know, they're dormant. They're not singing much. They're not trying to breed um, and usually you know the 10 hours is usually from about September to mid-November end of November and then December is when I start increasing their time usually a half hour every two weeks now this year was a little bit of an abnormal year for me I started earlier than I, I than I usually do and that's because I I, I had got some canary pears from some other breeders and their canaries were ready to breed so I kind of um, put the rest of my flock with those and, and, and started breeding a little bit earlier than I usually do so um, next year it probably won't be till about mid-December end of December until I start putting my birds together and so there's a lot of information out there you know Google canary breeding or canary lighting schedules and there's a lot of websites out there that that have recommendations and lighting schedules for the months of the year and you know that sort of thing and you know you can follow that schedule to whatever suits you best whether you have them indoors and you have artificial lighting or you just have them outdoors and the sun dictates when they breed and when they don't and so um but yeah i, I would suggest doing a lot a lot of reading on it because it's important to um, have their lighting proper so that you're not sending them into a molt or um, you know 
making it to where they're not really ready to breed and so you know hopefully that helps um you know lighting for canaries is, is kind of complicated and so you know hopefully some of these tips you know might have helped you a little bit if not sorry um but hopefully if you guys have anything else leave a comment and i'll try and get around to making a video for it and hopefully it can help you guys in the future so thanks guys see ya